Hey people, it's Arth Womp here, and welcome to episode 68 of Dagon Rampa. Last time we got further down the rabbit hole with the whole the world's ended stuff, no hope, everything's going down, Juko's more despair, things like that. And now we're just going to continue on seeing if we can get the memories restored. Like, what's up with that? What are the memories I took from you? Okay, what memories is it? Answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! Really, Juko, you're just growing more on me a bit as a villain, because really, like, I mean, she doesn't have, like, that whole, I'm trying to teach you all lesson, like, but then it seems like it's, this is just more fun. Like, this How is, are we supposed to answer? Like, this is basically one big game for her. I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. So we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Drugo says is true, if we first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so, so the memories should hook from us, our lives are host, our life are host peak. It can only be if that. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Like, anyways, the way how things are going, like, if this is the part, if this is gonna be, like, if I come to the finale of the game where I finish this trial, I am gonna make this the final episode. I'm just gonna keep it going. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? You've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That, that's not possible! Hero, with how you've been over the course of this game, it's more likely than you probably think. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But it's, it's the truth. Then we have to accept it. Okay, make our argument. Okay, group photo. Tank Master's e handbook. Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hmm. Hell no! That's uh, impossible! Sorry, lost 10 seconds. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events what? or anything. Okay. Heck, I've never even oh. gone to a single class! Oh, this that's is all actually just it. Surreal. Plus, if two years have passed. Locker notebook. How freaking old am I? Two years older than you really are. <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted. I don't want to believe it, but I, I know there's evidence that reveals the time that we lost the students. Yes, the <laughs> locker notebook. <laughs> I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Okay. Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything. Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! Okay, got it! No, it's wrong! Oh, that's close, because I thought it was going to be one of those things where- Oh, I miss it 500 times! Hero. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. I know, it's shocking, to say the least. I mean, really, the fact that Hero actually took notes. What's that, what's that? Is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. This is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. 
but just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened when the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing what, down. What, what is this? What is this tragedy? We need to know! What, what is it? You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair? Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Thank you! Because for God's sake, no offense, this has been interesting. Interesting exposition all, but really, it's been getting a little tedious. Figure this. out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of Easy, this. Easy, when Makoto fainted when we first started the game. And he woke up in that classroom. Where's... Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. Just after I stepped away in the main hall for the first time. And that was... When I fainted. I got it! The moment I lost my memories. I can't think of any time other than... That day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom, with my head on a desk. I assumed not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course, when everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Which was why Chibi, from the start, could swore he recognized Makoto. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. So much irony. Total time. <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. We have Yakuya. He'll rise. He'll rise up. You're the one who set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. 
all about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair of all mankind? Let's go back in time two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst! Everyone was enjoying themselves so much! You were all having the time of your lives! But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. But what is the tragedy? We don't know what the tragedy is. Was well, it gonna be something that they're gonna be saying for the that they saved for the sequel? All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here leading to the extermination of most of the students. What... are you? She's Junko! Hmm? What do you mean? She's the ultimate despair! The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? Yes, it was the Togami family. Byakuya's parents got really heated at a PTA meeting, and things just went south from there. You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! Yeah. Guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! Oh, that explains all the metal plates around the windows. It wasn't as a prison to keep us in but as a way to protect uh, the crazies from getting in. A pri ah, sorry, I got that mixed up. A prison to keep us out of the real world, uh, to keep us in the school, but rather a, ke a shelter to keep us outside, the crazies outside. Oh my gosh, I was out of it. That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! You just said it twice. Uh, I said it twice! Okay. Now, someone was responsible for that transformation for creating what would eventually become your prison. Which was the headmaster. Do any of you know who that might have been? The one you dirt was, yes, Junko, the headmaster. I got it! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope? That's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. 
He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro have come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. Seriously, Juko is starting to sound like a Care Bear, adult themed Care Bear villain. Can you let us live? So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because. This was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well... Why don't you tell me? That's why the T the TV show. That's why this is the show everyone in the world. That was. They hijacked the airwaves, took over the TV, pirated networking. Oh, it is hijacked. Okay, where's the eye? Where's the eye? Come on, where's the eye? Boom. Now I understand. Yeah, five minutes, fifty-one seconds, and point and six hundred sixty-six milliseconds. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, now we know how she was able to do it so easily. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. I can just imagine Monokuma just sitting by some giant Gatling duck gun slash turret and just blasting you off. Expelled them? I will not let you disrupt this communal life! I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take! Give and take? You're so full of... Shit! Oh! Things are really getting that getting heated! Makoto cut! And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I mean, we built up two years of memories together! You were all my treasured classmates! Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth! Which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? 
Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? How does it feel, Kyoko? How does it feel that you, the ultimate detective, was outweighed by the ultimate machinista? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth full of despair? That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all, Meaningless? Then we... have been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. Oh my gosh. I don't know it's uh, I don't know it's uh, the fact that this whole thing but the fact that our demented serial killer cannot even laugh at this. We get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! <laughs> Hero, even when in these dire straits, you always manage to bring a smile to my face. A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but... But there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say! Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth! Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you. Oh my gosh, where are they going to say that Makoto is like the ultimate hope or something like that? To counteract the ultimate despair? For the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them! I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. Like you're one to talk? That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant! Say what you want about hope, but we're all creatures of instinct, right? This man comes naturally! Oh, yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us! It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories! Invented reasons for us to do it! You pushed us all into a corner! It's all your fault! You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? I don't think we need a vote. We all know you're a psycho, and we're gonna all punch you. Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish Hope, well then, I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of Hope! Even if it's just one person? 
Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? <laughs> okay. I don't know about Hero, really, with how Hero was acting. We're, we gotta keep a watch on him. Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. What? You mean, we just... We'd have to just... live here? She thinks you'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. And make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists. Where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed! Wait a sec! I just got hit with an inspiration bomb! Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all! So, here's what'll happen! One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment! What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say... you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide... who's gonna have to suck it down! Makoto! You're up! Me? Well, you have been a big thorn her side this entire trial. Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. Just keep Togo away from the panel! If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. On the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me? What? What? The what? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? Considering how Hero has been during this trial, and considering that Togo has been always willing to just throw Makoto under the bus, I kind of have a bit of a shaky resolve. No! That's not it! It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. So beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> yes, but really, Kyoko didn't have that close of a bond with him. She'll throw it off. She'll throw off the shackles. Kyoko! One person's despair is enough to seal your fate! Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair! Seriously, this is starting to feel more like an Undertale, like some version of Undertale. Because just substitute hope with determination with hope, and you have this game. We're not gonna lose to you! So boring. Stubborn until the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. But you know what? Looking at Junko, just... I knew there was something familiar about her, and I know what it is! Any of you play the No More Heroes games? Like, No More Heroes 1, particularly? She reminds me of Bad Girl! And your stupid life! What with her, like, with her, mo with her mood swings and just violent urges, and long blonde hair. The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I had to show everyone. I had to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all! 
Okay, make your argument. I'm probably it's probably gonna be like the group photo. Like some weird friends we'll get this together. We won't give up. Okay. As long as there's hope, we'll never give okay, up. Okay, let's see what's going if on. If I in were this. to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay, I don't think I can break that. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Okay, so, so blanks. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Okay, okay. I'm not getting anything. Be. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. Biakuya, don't you have any cards? So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Kyoko! There is no hope in this world. When you sleep, it's on a bed of despair. The world is in despair. You are just in despair. If I don't die, everyone's gonna be consumed by despair. Oh, what the? Oh my gosh, I need to get all one thing. You claim there's no hope in the world, but despair's contagious, like you say. And so is hope. Oh, he's my own hope. Oh, now I see what I have to do. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the Basically, end. Basically, I take Hope's the hope Academy. and I then hit all the people's blanks. <laughs> Boom! Yes, I get it. Now. Oh my god! Oh, my fortune-telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. It's like the Undertale version, like it's with that ultimate flowy boss, where you use determination, just free all the souls. <laughs> but to live. Means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. Okay, we got hero on our we side. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. I've decided to have faith in myself. Good. Heroes on our side. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Okay. Now. We got Hina on our side now. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? Keep Hina away from the chem lab. You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say, which is why I. I. Yeah! I've made up my mind! Okay, good, we got Hina. We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! We got if the I hope. were to die, that would be the end. I, I decide. By the way, the air. The only reason we're. is thanks to the air pure. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. Okay, good. We Don't got it. Thought we missed that. I'm not losing any more hearts on this. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. Oh, no matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> oh, that's 
No matter what, Master has to come along with us! Yes, but that'll take away Byakuya's hope! Byakuya, he's gonna be up. asking, Can I please receive the punishment of Makoto? As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die... That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. I've decided to have- By the way, the, the only reason just be the thanks to the air- Say whatever you want, if I die. In other words, the communal life you've all- I can okay. keep on living, as long as I have my master's love! You never had it to begin oh, with! You will have to leave. You'll Speaking have to go which, into the world let's outside, get the on board. where only death and despair are waiting. Okay, Don't got Yakuya on our side! What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead. Because I'm still alive. Yes, you have the seed, Byakuya! And you have a guard so drop or stuff on you. I restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. We won't give up! Oh, the main tile theme starting to play! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die... That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. I've decided to have faith in myself. Yeah! By the way, the air the only reason is thanks to the air say whatever you want if I die. In other words, yeah, we just have to get Kyoko on our side. All of you will have to you'll have to go into the world outside. I already said I would claim the mastermind's life. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Okay, Kyoko on board. Boom. Don't lose hope now. Okay, these are really ranking up. I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. Yep, it's gonna be the ultimate hope thing, isn't it? I think you came here for a different reason entirely. The ultimate cliche. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. Here it comes! And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? Oh my god! What the... You. He's Makoto. We hope they hope Makoto is the truth bolt. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. And now this is starting to feel a lot like Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario for some reason, like with the pure hearts and hope and the so tail. So uncool. So unhip. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Lame, lame, lame. I'm not any kind of lead of anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but but still. But I still. Okay, one last full time, I believe. You suck! Whoa! So uncool! You dare to stand against us! Hope is a joke! Who are you? You're in your seat. You're gross! Suffer from despair! I just love despair! Come on, no. You suck! What do you want? So uncool! You're unbearable! Oh my gosh, you're getting with the puns! Hope is a joke! Who are you? Would you like to die? You're gross! Suffer from despair! Okay. Everything is pointless! Okay, final strike. Let's do the ultimate hope. There into hope keeps on going. Boom! And we've won. We've saved the world. 
I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Really? Juko and Dementio, they would become the best of friends. Okay, we won the trial. B A B A A A A A A A Boom A Well get one hundred sixteen medals. It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. But how what way I use these medals on? We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Who is found guilty? Jungo, Jungo, and Jungo. The hell? I'm probably, as a newsletter, I'm probably going to use, I'm going to be using a voice similar to my Togo, so just note. Indeed. You lost, Junko. I lost? I lost me? No, no way. Well, that's just... It can't be! Uh, um... You still don't accept it? <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. What the heck? But there's no use in trying to fight it now! Well, that's just... Well, that's just... Totally the best! Okay, now she's really becoming Toko-esque. Huh? So this is despair. This is despair. We came to the school two years ago. Great our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. And now I... But come this far and fail at the very end. True despair. It's the most ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking and about? Now I... Don't you see it? I am so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world of when I was born. That's why I was looking forward to this so desperately. This one's a lifetime experience. It is my first and last philosophy of despair. Here at the moment of death. Got to have the chance to taste the highest grade despair. The ultimate failure of my dream. Oh, despair. Uh, I am so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway. Anyways, I think you were prepared to admit the feast. <laughs> you think I care when I want to lost? In a way, it doesn't change the totally best! Not that it's only despair! It's only despair! No matter where you go, despair awaits you. Th that's not true! Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me myself. tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. We have the main menu theme. Okay. Because we decided to enter the asset world with hope. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> Everyone. Hey. You said that despair is as contagious as any disease. However... But the same is true of hope. Hmm. All you have to do is look at us to see how true it is. Kyoko! Uh, no, no, no! Uh, stop it, stop it! I hate those faces you're making! You see those awful looks cause me nothing but pain! There's one last thing! Fine, let me say just one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, there's no scale of items. But just be warned. From this one on, one despair after another will stand in your way. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope, but there's a very fine line to buying that hope from bitter despair. <laughs> Knowing that, do you plan on still cleaning the hope? Of course, because we- oh, Shut up, shut up! That was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm also done, though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. You really can go through with this? <laughs> that would be agreement, right? Hold on. It's not like I want it. I don't have to. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of blowing brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want to do now is take that despair of death that you only get once in a life. So don't get in my way! Uh, okay, what, what is she planning on doing? Oh my, what, what's wrong with her eyes? So this is how the despair of death feels. <sighs> it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. 
I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. Okay, Junko's faces are freak me out. Okay. I've reserved an extra special punishment for life. Well, please don't go any closer. Let's ah! get everything we've got. It's punishment time! Okay, really, really, just no, no, no closer. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh my, what is wrong with this girl? Look at those eyes! Congratulations. Jungo's been found guilty. Time for punishment. I like how just Jungo willingly goes to Monokuma. The ultimate punishment. Well, one thousand was not combining all the punishment. What did Junko take in it? The cage of death. The burning of the Versailles witch. Excavator destroyer. What the? Junko's getting really around by that. Look at that. Blast off. That was from the beginning of the game. After school lesson. That is a little cute though, just seeing Junko hanging, hugging Monokuma and just giving that peace sign. Boom! Emergency override. That's gonna be our way out, isn't it? So wh what's happening now? And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Inoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Host Peak Academy. It was all over. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. The end. You see the Monokuma Heritai present. Uh, I, I'm not, I, I don't know what's happening, so I'm, I'm just gonna say no, I'm just gonna take a chance. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsing on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception, the air purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said, they shut off immediately. That's the only difference. Goodbye to Spare High School, epilogue. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt all most absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck here there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end... Hey. We can't just stand around here like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honors? Uh, okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, they had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... Oh, but, is that really it? Is that really the key of this door? Indeed. We don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out. She said that, just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But... But you never know, maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct! I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd last leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> maybe! Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess that's true. Happened to master. I think my sister's a gem up so far. See, really, we have nothing to worry about in the outside world. I mean, we have gen we have Toko and her Jedi Jomo. She'll just kill everyone that stands our way. 
And now we get Togo. Huh? Where's the courtroom? Where's the, the mastermind? Oh. Hey, tell over. We're just about to leave the school. <laughs> what? Leave? We can go outside? <laughs> that means me and my master can get married. The Aquia's ultimate despair has only just begun. This is his true ultimate despair. <gasps> and then you can give me a little jewel, baby. We're getting... The Aquia is now probably just wishing that he would have just voted for Hope and would have just begged... Junko, please, can you just kill me off instead? That's enough. Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. <laughs> anyway... Anyways, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But it's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. <sighs> but you know, in the end, I I think Harmy still thinks You're serious. Maybe when we get here, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. Now on the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie, peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we were meant to live. Uh um, yeah, I guess so. And, how do I put this? Unlike the school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure that there must be some despair no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope. To find, try and find it. That, by itself, is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what we mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still lots of others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami Dynasty. <laughs> I'll go with you! I'll follow you anywhere you want to go! Freaking, like I said, Byakuya, you have the seed and you have the aggressive garden go chasing after you. You got it! Well, my first half is going to be the closest donut shop. I can bring out the rest of them there. Hey. And what are you going to do if there are no more donut shops? Okay. Oh, donuts. I I'll just go find the flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. And if there's no fields, I'll just become the donut empress. And I will make everyone construct donuts from scratch. <gasps> oh, I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, just got build one. Christian, Faith is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope. How about that? I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yes of Hiro Hagakura's life story is about to begin. Whoa! Thanks, Hina. You totally opened my eyes. Oh! Hey, personal Smith, but you're supposed to creep me out. Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is deep in despair, <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out of there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. So what can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything! Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. Yes, but... Who will be selling you crystal balls for one million dollars? You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. That's how Byakuya is going to pre rebuild the Togami name! He's going to sue the crap out Toko! I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with my hope and heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands. With our hands. Hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future.
Will we actually get to see the world, or is it gonna be like that Jack One 100% ending, where it's just bright light and then just cliffhanger? Oh no, it's the bright light. It's the bright light. If they cut to the credits, I'm gonna be enraged. I'm angry now! Joseph get angry! Doc won't get angry! Okay, thoughts. Since you know how I am with credits and saying my thoughts. This has so far been my favorite project. I will have to say that. I loved this game. It was what everyone told me and more. It was a much more interactive version of an Ace Attorney game. However, just like that, it was just, it had its flaws in that, like, Case 3 particularly, that one was just a bunch of confusion. Where this game had a lot, had an issue of just plot purging, just really, like, they didn't, where, like, just, it would just be whoosh, just hit you with a bunch of plot points all at once and just confuse you. But still, anyways, I really loved this game, just loved everything it was. And, as I say, just a lot to commentate on. It wasn't just the typical, oh, I'm moving to the left, I'm moving to the right now. I could actually commentate on dialogue. I could actually voice my thoughts. It was actually a lot of fun in that regard. And this has actually been my longest series as of now. Overlord was 49 episodes. This has been 68. So, yeah. All that. So, really. And this felt like nothing. Like, just... Overlord was actually an issue because of all of the audio issues I had. Particularly that one infamous video card I had back during my episode 18 of that game. Literally. That was the worst thing I ever had. Where I had to actually splice together two videos. But this game surprisingly had very little issue. I mean, sure I had like a few videos where the audio was glitchy. It had that typical, oh, here's the echoey voice and dialogue. But... Still, it wasn't it wasn't as prevalent as it was in Overlord. Like where Overlord, it would happen like two where it was like in four, three, five episodes. It was in this it's only like two. So yeah. And but anyways, onto my thoughts of this blind let's play. I this was the first blind playthroughs I did, as you know, and I'm glad I chose this game just because if I had played this game first and then did a walk through it. I wouldn't have been nearly as entertaining, I wouldn't have had me as into things as I am now, because otherwise it would have felt like, in a sense, a little bit like work, in a sense. Well, I know it's happening, I just gotta go through the motions, but I didn't, so I was actually able to thoroughly enjoy things. The story was very coherent and just a lot of interesting characters, which, that's what I like in games. Well, I love it when you can interact with a bunch of characters that do have an exaggerated personality, but like, but just are overall very interesting and very dynamic. Anyways, now that I think about it, on the main menu of this game, there were that when you would love a game, under the chapter select, there was a question mark thing. And I would notice that basically stated that I that really you don't have access to this yet. Maybe now that I've completed the game, I actually have access to it all. So anyways. Yeah. I'm going to be doing that, like, see if I have that at my disposal. Okay. We're going to the credits. Makoto's blank face. I don't really know what to talk about now. Just, except that this was a really fun game. Just, I know I keep saying that, but just, this really was a whole lot of fun. Just, Every time I turn on the recording, it was just another thing of what am I going to experience this time? It wasn't like with Overlord where I'm like, okay, here's the next step, so I'm one step closer to completing the game. No, this time it was actually like, I'm really having fun with this. This game was unique in that, oh, and that skull, now that I think about it, wait, that skull was from the intro cutscene, wait, that intro cutscene where we saw that guy getting killed by Monokuma in that spaceship, that's the Headmaster! I just realized that now, that was the Headmaster! Wow! Okay, you learn something new every time. Mondo with a potato. Oh my, is he even wearing that Mondo butter? But anyways, just... Next project I have planned... I'm talking about this now, just because credit scenes. But anyways, the credits... 
so, uh, what am I saying? My next project is going to be a lot different. I'm not going to do the second game. Granted, I am going to do the sequel to this game. I will be doing it, trust me. I love this game too much just to avoid the sequel. But I want to do some space between it. Like, maybe do a playthrough or two in between. I already have my next project planned out. Which will be a whole nother realm of mental suffering. But granted, it's not going to be like, oh, you're seeing your students die. Go, you mostly my character dying. That's a hint. Okay, looks like we reached the end. Tune soft. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Are we going to get just shot back to the main menu or what? Monokuma? Why, why are we just doing a Monokuma? He shouldn't be active. <laughs> How are you talking, Monokuma? Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. How, who's controlling you? Juko's dead. Mukuro's dead. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. Tommy Gilligan? I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... <laughs> Damn, Monokuma jump scare, I'm gonna get a heart flutter! <laughs> Easter egg present! Well, I have an Easter egg in my pants right now! I... I don't know, I don't know, no, 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm not saving, I'm not saving, don't, don't worry. Oh! Wait, what is this? School mode? This is a what if simulator. I'm, well, we got bonus episodes, so this thing's not done yet. The more you unlock, check out special bonuses. What is this? Extras. Event gallery. Movie gallery. Probably cutscenes. The school store. Sound gallery. Hmm, let's see what the sound gallery is. Oh! It's the, the game soundtrack. We have all the things. Good. Okay, Mr. Monokuma, let's distrust. Oh, this is probably like. Let me guess. This is like the Monokuma, like day class. Oh, you have to spend coins on like the items. Oh, goody. Yeah, your DLC of gaming. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end things off. I'm gonna go back to the title screen just because. <laughs> okay, we have Hero, and now let's just. I'm gonna tell you this. I really appreciate that you stick around to watch this episode. I really, you're a great. I really appreciate it. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next for the bonus episode. And, and I really appreciate if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.